Hey Bible lovers, I'm Tim Nichols and I'm here to bring your Nichols words and today from Tyndale we are featuring the King James Version Life Application Study Bible in the large print. Now if you know my story, you know that the Life Application Bible was transformative for me. It really led me to becoming a Christian. So let's take a look. First of all, it has a black bonded leather cover. It only has one ribbon. Um, obviously you know I'm going to fix that problem. I'm going to put some ribbons up in this thing. But the black bonded leather cover is super nice. Um, it really feels like the real deal, which what bonded leather is, is it's basically leftover remnant pieces of leather that they glued together. It's almost kind of like a particle board, um, only it's leather instead of board. So now you have a vinyl liner. I don't see, I mean, it could be reinforced. I don't see that it's reinforced. It, it, it might be, but this is a beefy boy. Um, it's almost two inches thick. And the reason is because it's got an 11.5 font, which I'll show you in a minute. But one thing about Tyndale's Bibles that seem to be problematic, especially the thick ones, is when you open them, they concave. And what happens when it concaves is it's going to cause a wrinkle in the spine. You can see that a wrinkle is already forming in this one, and I've not even used it that much. So anyhow, with that said, it does have silver gilding, which looks very nice. It's a single column, 11.5 font. Um, so that is really beautiful. Of course, your poetry is going to be in a verse-by-verse -verse layout, and your prose is going to be in a paragraph format. Now, one thing I want to show you, in this Bible and in every life application study Bible, which this is the third edition, so this is going to have the updates, is the introductions to the books. I love what they do with the introductions to the book. In the introductions, instead of giving you like this, matter of fact, this is what this book is, this is who wrote it, they give you vital statistics, which kind of give you some of that information. It gives you the purpose of its writing, who wrote it, when it was written, who was it written for, what was the setting, but then it gives you like this practical information in its introduction lamentations tears so what it does is it says look when you're hurting when you're depressed when you're discouraged this is how this applies to today's life so check it out once you get into that it gives you the blueprint it gives you some big themes and then it moves into your text with your application so not only does the commentary really help you with how does this apply to today so does the introductions how do i deal with grief and each book kind of has a little something like that to where it gives you just a, like a singular theme to kind of hang on like let's move to the book after lamentations ezekiel and this is saying computers today can be programmed and how he had the dreams and the visions and the different things. So it's bringing it into modern terms so that we can understand it in a better way using computers and how computers kind of function and give us, give us insight into things to where Ezekiel's mind kind of worked like a computer and it could see into heaven and was able to download this information. And it gives you key places and maps. This 11.5 font is huge. Um, and what really is nice is it appears that the commentary is at least a nine point font, which is super duper nice. Um, it doesn't make a lot of sense to have this big, huge, large print and then your commentary is really teeny tiny. The commentary is set up in a double column. Your uh, text is set up in a single column and it has your references in the gutter. So that's also extremely, extremely nice. Uh, just really well done, really well laid out. Every now and then you will get a few textual notes and different things at the bottom here. So that kind of keeps all that separated. So you have your references in the gutter, you have your notes on the bottom, single column layout, beautiful. Let's take a quick look at the red letter. Red letter's well done, I like it. I'm not sure what the GSM of this paper is. It is rather thin. I'm gonna say it's probably in the 30s, but it's gonna be on the very low end, probably 30, 31 GSM. But I do like the, the references in the gutter because this is a big, thick book. So when you get to the middle, if you don't have those references in that gutter, your text is going to be sneaking down there. It's going to be kind of hard to read, kind of annoying. So anyhow, basically application is about more than just knowledge. Application is taking this knowledge and knowing exactly how to use it. And that's what this Bible is designed to do. This is a big boy. It weighs over four pounds. And uh, it's, there's a reason for it. It's because you've got that huge 11 and a half point font. So if you like the Life Application Study Bible, but the font's been too small for you in the past, this is addressed. Also, if you like the Application Study Bible, Life Application Study Bible, but you don't like maybe the NLT, maybe the NLT just reads a little weird for you, then you got it in a traditional King James setting, really sharp. 
I love this Bible because of what it's meant to me and how it's been transformative to me. It's one of my favorite Bibles to give away. Anyhow, there you have it. Keep calm. Jesus on. This is your Nicholas Worth.